Am I talking too loud? Always. <laughs> we got a few new people to welcome. Paulina Keith. Welcome to the neighborhood. VSG Rebecca. Welcome to the neighborhood and you are going, we are going to be Sleeve Sisters. That's right. She's getting her sleeve on the 29th. I get mine on October 2nd, so we're going to be Sleeve Sisters. Woohoo! I thought she had a sleeve. Silly boy. I'm going to get a sleeve, and then you'll be real Sleeve Sisters. Misty Lashley. Welcome to the neighborhood. Danae Marady. Welcome to the neighborhood. Davi Ashby. Welcome back, girl. We missed you. Glad you're still watching, even though you don't comment often. Glad we have you. One Blazing Eagle One. He's back from vacation. Welcome back. Hope you had a good time. Glad you're commenting again. Yay! <laughs> and Olaya Olaya Farku said you got her last name right, but you got her first name wrong. So on you. <laughs> okay. Now we got some other things to talk about. You do? Yes. 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 Taylor Berry, congratulations on the birth of your new baby boy, Caleb, born August 31st. Five pounds, 1.5 ounces, 20 inches long. And we're going to insert a picture or two right here. Sarah Presley, happy 25th birthday on the 18th. Hope it was a wonderful one, just like you. One Proud Mama. Okay. One more chemo treatment this past Friday. Then scans to see if there's any evidence of cancer left. Everybody keep your, her and your thoughts and prayers. Positive thoughts and prayers. Haley goes for one more x-ray this past Thursday. Hopefully the cast will come off and she won't need surgery. Let's keep her in our thoughts and prayers, too. Positive thoughts. And we could do away with the crutches, but she might have to wear a boot for a while. I had to wear a boot, too. So, Haley, they're okay. She's wearing her head, though. He's going to wear one on his butt. Jane <laughs> Bennett, 380, wanted everybody to know that Kindle Fires are on sale at Amazon for $49.99 which is a great deal. Get one for yourself or an early Christmas gift for somebody. Groovy, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we need some thoughts and prayers. Tanya Ray, her stepdad and mother are moving, and on top of them moving, her dad's stepdad's chemo is no longer working, and he has developed a new tumor on his lung. Mm. Tanya's daughter is a grandpa's girl, and she cries all the time now. On a good note, happy ninth anniversary to Tanya and her husband on September 24th, and happy 19th anniversary to her mom and her stepdad on October 5th. So keep everybody in your thoughts and prayers, Tanya. You and your family, and especially your baby girl, are definitely in our thoughts and prayers. And we love you guys. Okay. Um, two announcements. Live Q&A on the 10th of October. October, 4 p.m. Pacific Time. Correct. Have your questions ready. And I wanted to let everybody know some people are having problems with leaving comments on our vlogs if you are having problems leaving comments send us a message via 
Twitter, Instagram, or our email and let us know so we can let YouTube know that there's an issue. If you can do that, that would be great. Okay, my question last week is what is your favorite pizza? Pizza. Pizza. Okay, Narissa Khan, extra pepperoni, extra cheese, and I mean really extra, extra. And tuna. Okay. I love sushi. I love tuna. I love pizza. Don't know if I can have tuna on my pizza, though. That seems a little strange. But hey, you never know until you try it. Tanya Ray, chicken, bacon, mushroom, onion, ranch instead of tomato dressing. And the best part, it's made by her loving husband. We need to get that recipe because that sounds delicious. Okay, this is a little strange. One Proud Mama 77 does not like pizza. Nope. Doesn't like pizza. But she loves when her family orders Pizza Hut because she loves to eat the stuffed crust. <laughs> yep. Pete Price, best answer. I don't buy pizza, but my son and uh, my son does, so my wife and I eat all the leftovers. So it doesn't matter what he orders, they just eat the leftovers. Susie here, white pizza, ranch dressing, cheese, chicken, mushrooms, and almond slices. Almond. Sounding less and less like pizza. Ah, never had <laughs> almond slices on my pizza, but again, don't knock it till you try it. Jess Lucera, double crust, double cheese. Canadian bacon, mushrooms, and onions. And he said if we ever make it up to his neck of the woods, Howard's, I believe, was the name of the restaurant, is the first place, first restaurant we're going to hit when we get there. What's your favorite pizza? Um, just meat lovers, I think. Just put all the meat on there. As long as it doesn't have fish on it, I'll eat it. I oh. like sardines on my pizza. Ugh. I do. I, uh. I, I, I only you don't had like it a few tuna? times. I, I do, but I've never had tuna on pizza. But or don't put pineapple. On. That's <laughs> disgusting. Megan used to love to oh. have her pineapple on her pizza. Mm -hmm. That question was brought to you by Kevin. My favorite pizza, yeah, you you found you asked found that one last week. My favorite pizza is any pizza that I can have because right now I'm not allowed to have any pizza. And you never will again. I don't know if I ever will again. I don't. Oh well. But you used to like pizza. I used to when we were growing when I was growing up. We had this place called Lillo's pizza in town and we used to call an order and we called it the garbage pie <laughs> it had everything on it meats vegetables everything everything it was really good <laughs> and we ordered it as the garbage pie but they didn't take offense to it and they knew what we were talking about okay now I just want to let you guys know if you guys have any questions suggestions please feel free to let me know this week's question is brought to you by Jack Salmon. Okay, and this one's going to be a tearjerker, guys. What has been your hardest goodbye? Yep, your hardest goodbye. I have several, so it's going to be hard. I had to say goodbye to my shirt today. <laughs> they don't know that yet. It's going to be on this vlog. <laughs> it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Beep, 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 boop, boop, beep, 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 boop, ear. Okay. So last week's question had to do with Night of the Living Dead, the remake, 1990, that was directed by Tom Savini. 
Uh, there, they used to actually used a real person's house. She was actually a zombie in the movie. Um, and but they put something on the house. It was it said M Celeste next to the front door, and um, it was a a reference to the Mary Celeste, the, the, the ship that was discovered in 1888 adrift with nobody on board, but it looked like it was abandoned uh, so quickly that the food was still on the table and everything was left. So it is still a huge mystery. So the reference was when they found the house, it was it was abandoned and uh, the, there was food cooking when they got in. So that's the reference. And those of you who got that correct was Terry Johnson, Beach Loving Aussie, The Abyss 92882, Jess Lucero, and Tanya Longley. Now the next one is about a movie that I know some of our um, subscribers actually like. So I, it's probably going to be an easy question. Child's Play, 1988. Um, the It's about a doll that's being possessed by someone who was just executed for murder and the character's name is Charles Lee Ray. Where did that name come from? It has a origin. There you have it! So there's your question of the week, your trivia question of the week, and you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all very, very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. And we will see you 